Hi, quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. Did you love seeing all of those projects? They are so fun. I'm excited. All right, Christina's in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm fine. I'm tired, but I'm good. Yes, Here. it's been a long week. It's yes. only Wednesday. I feel like those first weeks back after like holidays are always a little sluggish. A little, a little bit. Now <laughs> we have some great news. The quilt behind Christina is called Spin Fresh. <laughs> and guess who made it? Our very own Christina. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. So do you have any UFOs left? Do I have any what? UFOs left? Um, kind of. I finished the top for a block of the month last week, a week okay. late, but then okay. I just have to quilt it and then, then I'm just good to go. Then you're good to go. Yes. So you can start a new project with yes, me. Yes, and I did. Okay, what yes. did you start? What did I start? Uh-huh. Um, it's called Firework Fizz. It's oh, yes. We talked about it yeah. yesterday. It's by one of our go-getters, Melanie Call. It's her pattern. It's so cute. So cute. I love it so much. And you're going to use a cube. Yes. Your 10-inch cube. My 10-inch cube. <laughs> that you got for Christmas. I love that. <laughs> Excellent. So if you're looking for it, hey, it's called Spin Fresh. All right. Where is everybody from? Okay. We have somebody from Scotland. Thanks for staying up to hang out with us. So many people from Texas. Uh, South Jersey, welcome. We're glad that you're all here. All right, yesterday we had such a great event. Wasn't it so fun? Yes, it was so fun to do something a little different. Too. It was. It was kind of, if you missed it, it's okay. It lives on our Facebook page, so you can go back and watch it. Uh, but the lovely Erica and Lynn and I were here, and we had kind of the best of 2020. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the award show, yeah. Academy Awards. We wore tiaras. <laughs> you should know that after the show, Eric and I went to our local favorite retailer, or, you know, a uh, quilt shop, mm -hmm. wearing our tiaras. Yes, it was beautiful. Drove through Chick-fil-A, wearing our tiaras, <laughs> and then I went shopping, wearing my tiara. I love that. I know, it was lovely. So yesterday was kind of like the Academy Awards. So to kind of get you into that spirit, here is the photo of the day. This is hands down one of my all-time favorite movies. It's called Secretariat. Mm. It's um, based on the story of Secretariat who was a racehorse who was kind of the underdog and he went on to win the Triple Crown and it was it's just this feel-good story and I'm old enough to have been alive while Secretariat was alive so <laughs> that's kind of fun. So the question of the day is what is one of your favorite movies? So Christina oh. what's one of your favorites? Oh that's so hard. Um, one that I'll watch like every time it's on television like every single time yes. um, is Pretty Woman. I love that movie. <laughs> it's so good. There yeah. was a time it was on like ABC Family or something for like yes. like three times in a row. Yes. And I watched it all day. Yes. Like I just watched it three times. Yes. <laughs> I will watch like Mulan, the animated, not the oh, yeah. live one, like forever. Yes. Forever. And Chelsea Graphics, um, Walk to Remember is one of her favorites. Oh, okay. Which is a great movie. Yes. Okay. So in the comment sections today, we want to know what is your favorite, one of your favorite movies. It's hard to choose the favorite. All right, we had so many quilters send us some fun pictures of their projects. So let's take a look at what they've created. First off, this is absolutely beautiful. We have a patriotic quilt um, by Gary H. And he used what dye in the corners do you see, Christina? Oh, oh starry path. Sorry, path. <laughs> yeah, it's starry, on like the tip of my tongue. <laughs> starry path. It's beautiful. And I love the panel in the, in the center. Good job, Gary. Yes. Next, Kimber C made this cute little panel. We could all use a little sunshine in our lives. And it's sunflowers. I hope Kimber, I wonder if she lives in Kansas. Oh, right. That's their state flower, right? Yeah, that so. is their state flower. I'm so impressed that I know that. <laughs> okay, and last we have Yvonne T, and she made this beautiful quilt. So look how she used the panel on the right. She added a border and then she used our cubes to make those beautiful blocks. Yes. They are absolutely the same blocks we're gonna make today on our show. There we go. I know, I'm so excited. So thanks for sharing. So quilters, send us your projects. We'd love to see what you're working on and it might show up on one of our AQ Lives. Won't that be fun? All right, now listen, it's a new year. We're your family, we love you. Today we have a great promotion. Today only till 12 midnight san, uh, central time, you can take 25% off your order using the code SO25, and it's S-E-W, 25. Mm -hmm. So today, the six inch cube that we're using is only $165 with that discount. Yes. Exclusions apply, but they're listed on the website. So Christina, that means also the eight and the nine inch cubes 
Yep, Same are price. also $165. Yes. Okay, so make sure you use that code SO25. All right. Next. We're just waiting for our screen to change. <laughs> no worries. Yep, we're good. Today, because we can, Christina and I, we're going to give away a six inch cube. Yes. Yeah. One lucky viewer. So be sure and share our video on your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Leslie's going to pick it. Christina's going to announce it. Mm -hmm. And I will clap. Yes. Yes. It will be so <laughs> fun. So be sure and share our six inch cube. That's kind of fun. All right. So this is a really fun project that we're making today. And it's a sewing machine mat. Christina, have you ever had like a sewing machine mat on your, no, like under but your? I feel like I need one. Of course you do. There's a die for all of it. It gets dusty and I always lose like my tiny scissors or my seam yes. ripper when I eventually need it. Yes. <laughs> Chelsea was looking for one this morning. Yes. So it's going to sit, um, we're, we're going to show you a finished one, but yeah, it's going to sit down and then the pockets are going to kind of hang over so you can yes. put like threads in there and, and M&Ms. Oh yes. Yeah. That's a great idea. Think ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And, but the pockets are so incredibly functional. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell you to download the pattern and read all of the instructions, not just some of them. Yes. All right. Now it's interesting. Um, this isn't actually an older pattern that we have mm -hmm. on our website. And so it doesn't ha tell you to use the cube the six inch cube. What it does is it lists the shapes individually that you would use from the cube. But Christina did a little math this morning. So tell us the difference if you bought the dies separately yes. compared to the cube. So if you purchased all of these dies separately, it would cost you $193. Right. But if you just bought the cube, it's 165 and you get more dies and a container and a cutting mat. Yes. It's the best. All together. Okay. So what a great deal. All right. So people ask me all the time, like, what's the value of the cube? And the value of the cube is that one, all of the pieces that you need together are, you know, are all in one place, but you don't have to buy those dies individually. Right. right? Okay. So now the next question you're going to all ask is, I don't have the six inch cube. Can I use a different size cube, like the eight or the nine inch? And the answer is yes, there's no die police. Okay, nobody's coming to Mike's house making sure he's using just the six inch cube, okay? <laughs> but what you wanted to make sure you do is adjust the backing fabric for the pockets and those pockets are gonna be a little bit bigger, hang a little bit lower, Yeah. okay? So you have to do math in your head. So get the six inch cube and just make the project, <laughs> okay? Now, all right, so we're gonna talk about this project and notice quilters, I have downloaded the pattern on paper. I know, <laughs> it helps me sometimes, all right? Okay, so before we get started, we're going to talk about um, the shapes in the cube. And I'm going to need shapes. I have to do, I'm going to pull them out. Oh, here, watch. I can just pull them out right here. <laughs> I feel like we're all having a time of it today. We're just we are. A little struggle. A <laughs> little bit of a struggle with us here. <laughs> I am, my head is thinking about um, Friday because I'm going to Florida. Oh, yes, I would think about Friday too. Yeah. I know, all of you are going, what? I am, I'm gonna get on a plane like an adult and wear a mask and fly to Florida. Okay, so here's our cubes. When you open them up, they look just like this, ta-da! And this is how you should store your dies quilters. You wanna stack them like books on a shelf, okay? So I need um, just three dies from this. I need shape number two, which are smaller squares. And I need shape number four, which are quarter square triangles. And then I need shape number five, which are super tiny little half square triangles. Look at these little guys, okay? All right, so in the cube, all the pockets are numbered, all the dies are numbered. So when I'm done, I can put them back where they belong, which Christina, don't you think that's the hardest part of your sewing room? Yep, definitely. Yeah, putting them back, okay? So I'm gonna put them back in here. And the little skinny one, you're gonna wanna pull this one first all the time because then you won't break a fingernail. I know, <sighs> first world problems. <laughs> uh, but inside is a training DVD on how to use the cube system. Listen, how many videos, how, how many AccuQuilt lives have we done recently, Christina? So that many. Have cubes, yeah. Plus just, the, you can always look on YouTube. There's a pull playlist of the cube DVDs too. Yeah, yeah. So you can look there. And, ta-da, it comes with a cutting mat, which I'm gonna use. 
and a pattern book, okay? Mm -hmm. So this comes in every cube, which is super cool. All right, now we're gonna cut some fabric. I know, I love it when we cut fabric. Before we start, Christina, what are people's, people's liking? Oh, I haven't heard of, oh, okay, I'll tell you a secret, Pam. I have not seen a lot of movies. Like, okay, that is so surprising to me. <laughs> people will like, like list off these classics and I've just never seen them. Like I just, wow. I don't know. Okay, but that's okay. But Susan said one of her favorites is Sleepless in Seattle and I love that one. Oh yeah, that one's great <laughs> with Meg Ryan. Yeah. Oh gosh, there's so many. Um, let's see, Dawson says one of his is Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Oh, that's an old classic. Um, Medora, or Cindy, excuse me, loves The Sound of Music. Okay, The Hills Are Alive. Um, Kathy says A Christmas Story is one of her favorites. Okay, is that not one of the funniest movies ever? But also it's a Christmas movie and anytime I tell people that my one of my favorite movies is The Santa Claus, yes. they make fun of me because it's a Christmas movie, but I'll watch it any time of year. I love Santa I Claus. I love that one. Okay, because if you don't believe at our house, then you don't get them. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just saying. Okay, so notice I have downloaded my pattern. Okay, I'm going to refer to it here. So let's cut the first shape is shape number five, which are tiny little half square triangles. Okay, and I'm going to read how many I need to do because I need to do whites and darks. Okay, now. Some people, um, this is a great stash buster. You could totally go to your stash and use things, but it's also great for scraps. I am going to use something that I hardly ever, I don't think I've ever shown on this show before. Mm. Um, I'm going to use jelly rolls. Oh, okay. Because jelly rolls cut to two and a half inches. Yes. We talked about that just a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Okay. So and if I were going to um, use my yardage, what I would do is I would measure from here to here at a quarter of an inch on either side, mm -hmm. which magically comes to two and a half inches. There you go. Okay, that which is the size of the jelly roll, okay? So um, I'm gonna need some white, and then I'm gonna need blue, okay? So this is what I'm gonna use for my whites. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, I love that. Now. Do a little math here, quilters. I only need four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so how many pieces am I gonna put on there? Just one. <laughs> I know, look at that. Okay, and you wanna cut on the lengthwise grain, right? Because that's gonna keep it good, okay? And then I'm gonna come back and show you how I'm gonna do six. All right, so I pulled a cutting mat. Here it is. All right, now, Run that through. In a minute, um, I'm going to show you how to run two dies through my go big. So this is actually the six, eight, and nine inch cubes you can use with any of our cutters, mm -hmm. okay, including the go me. Statics built up, so I'm going to just slide, don't lift. Look at this. Ooh, Pat wants to know if you could use the 12 inch cube for this. You know what, Pat? I feel like that is going to be so it's big. Be so Those big. pockets are going to be hanging down on your knees. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So now I've cut my four whites, which are the center for my pinwheels. And now I need to cut 12 of the blue. Okay. So here is my blue scraps that I'm going to use. I'm going to find that lengthwise green. There are four. So I only have to fan fold back and forth three times. Okay. Love it when the math works. Here we go. Oh, we've got another one of my favorites. Okay. Um, Armorita says that her favorite is The Breakfast Club. Oh, I love, love that one. Breakfast Club. They, <laughs> she's like, I just watched that. Uh, Mason Heller, that's a show he will watch a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he likes that one. That's another one that whenever it's on television, I'll just, just pick it right Just throw it on up. there. No matter when, it's, like, when I'm joining in to watch it, I'll just... Watch the whole thing. Yeah, just watch. It doesn't matter. Okay, now we need four of shape twos. Okay, so shape two is, um, I'm going to grab my other mat so I can show you how this works together. So shape two is kind of fun because these are tiny little squares. Okay, so I only need four of them for the corners. So if you um, had a scrap of white, mm -hmm. you could just put it over the top. But what am I using today? Jelly rolls. I know I'm excited <laughs> about this. And I'm actually gonna cut this down a little bit. Holy smokes. Ooh, there's some folks in Florida saying that it's cold and you should remember a jacket. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about what cold really means. <laughs> okay, 
Tomorrow in Nebraska, the wind is going to blow 65 miles an hour and there is going to be snow. I looked on the Weather Channel, it's going to be 76 in Florida. <laughs> I think I'll be good. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bring my boots and bring my Uggs. But I will bring a jacket because, one, okay, Ray has never been, I've been to Florida many times, Ray has never been and we're going to take a little Everglades airboat Fine. ride. Yeah, so yeah. if I get eaten by an alligator, okay. uh, Erica is good for next Wednesday. Okay, okay. wonderful. Who do okay. you bequeath your fabric stash to? I'll make sure. Okay. It'll all be good. <laughs> She's in charge. <laughs> okay, so look, so I only need four, so I use two layers of fabric, and then I only need four of shape four, and there are one, two, three, four shapes on the die board. Okay, one, two, three, four. So now I only need one layer of that, so I'm just taking my scraps. Look at how fun this is. You can totally make this whatever colors you wanted to make it, okay? Now, the beauty of the Go Big is that I can run two dies through in one pass, which I often do. I was telling Christina, though, the other day, sometimes I get a little excited and I forget, <laughs> and then I, I run one through and I was like, dang, I could have added another one. Okay. Perfect. Ooh, Cindy wants to know if using a dryer sheet rubbed on the mat would help with static too. Um, you know, people have said that to me. Yeah. I don't know. I've never done that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, try I it. See how try it, it and let us know. Okay, and here's those quarter square triangles. It is just so dry here in the dream studio. Okay. Joni wants to know um, if that happens and you get eaten by an alligator, will AccuQuilt honor you with an alligator die? Lynn Gibney. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> if on Saturday, or Sunday, we're going in Sunday, if Sunday I get in, uh, eaten by an alligator, then you have to have the <laughs> Cam's alligator die. Does it honor you? It is, because then every day you can think about me with the alligator die. Good job, whoever said that. Thank you. Okay. All right, so here we go. So now I've cut all my pieces. I mean, I could have cut them way faster, but, you know, we all talk. Okay, so qu uh, quilters ask me all the time. Which AccuQuilt product should I buy first? Okay, well first I'm gonna tell you to buy a two and a half inch strip die, and then next I'm gonna tell you you need a cube. Now depending on what size blocks you make will determine the size of cube that you need. For example, right, Christina, you like bigger blocks, which is why you have the 10 inch cube. Yes. I have the 12 inch cube and the eight inch cube and some others. <laughs> um, the six inch cube, for those of you who love little tiny blocks, um, there's some really great, um, uh, quilt alongs that use those yes. shapes that are make those six inch blocks, then the six inch cube is perfect for you. Now we have done so many AccuQuilt lives on how you can take your cube and make it different sizes mm -hmm. and so forth. So all of our videos live on our Facebook page and they also are live on YouTube. So if you re want to rewatch any of the videos, you can do so, okay? Yes. So would they just look in our little- Yeah, there's um, a tab that just says live. So you can just click on that. Those are all the videos. You can always search for them on YouTube as well. They're excellent. there too. So there's always the resources to rewatch. Okay, excellent. Don't forget today, we're giving away our Go 6 inch mix and match cube to one lucky AccuQuilt Live viewer. Be sure and share the video on your personal Facebook page for your chance to win. Christine is gonna announce the winner at the end of the show. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew these blocks together, okay? And while I lay them out, hey, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to our AccuQuilt blog. Our blog is a great place to find inspiration, tutorials, patterns, sewing tips, so much more. So we have go-getters, right, Christina? Yep. What are our go-getters besides like, you and me? They're, they're like our bloggers stuff all the or time. like our influencers. So they yeah. like write patterns for us, they test products for us, all kinds of stuff. Yes. Oh, products, oh. new dives. wonder what they're testing right now. I know what they're testing. <laughs> okay, just something to think about. Okay, so make sure you follow our blog, our, okay? And I think the link is right there. Yes. All right, so let's lay out this block because Christine and I, we talk about this all the time. Oh, see, already, I know I've done it wrong. I cut the, I cut the whites when it should be blue, but oh, it's okay. No. It's okay, we're gonna make it work, <laughs> okay? See, this is why we do stuff. This is why we practice, okay? When we do that, we've got a really great question from Gail. Okay. She says, why are some of the shapes on the dies at an angle and some are straight, parallel to the edge of the die? Yeah, so let's talk about that. Let's pull one out. Oh, I have one pulled out, thank you. <laughs> okay, 
This has a straight blade, a steel blade inside. In our cutter, there are steel rollers, okay? If this was straight on the die board, every single time this die would go through the cutter, it would, it would make this clunky noise like when you hit a uh, speed bump with both wheels and you get that jarring effect. Mm -hmm. But if it's at an angle, just one corner goes through at a time. So it's nice and easy and smooth. So when you're laying down fabric, okay, you want to make sure your fabric covers the shape, not the die board, because then you're going to waste fabric and you're going to be cranky. Okay? So that is a great question. Okay, so here we go. Look at this. Okay. We're going to make flying geese for the corners. Um, and flying geese in every cube, right? Yes. Which is so fun. Those are shapes. Oh, and do that, Christina. Tell me, tell me. Three I'm and excited. five? Okay. Is it? Four and five. Four and five. <sighs> Four and five. Okay. All right, so I'm going to cut some more because, see, I was not doing the math right. I was talking. So I need two more and two more. That's four. And then need four for the center. So how many is that, Christina? Eight. 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 <laughs> okay, oh. no one in this room is allowed to do math. I'm really glad the camera was not on my face because I don't know what <laughs> it just did. <laughs> so I need eight. So I'm just going to go back and forth twice. This is the great thing about the cube, right? Because if you were trying to cut this by hand, and then you realize you didn't do this right. Oh, I'd be so grumpy. You would be so cranky. It helps if I turn my cutter on. Okay, but look how fast I can cut eight half square triangles. Okay. Da -da -da -da. I do love this fabric. It's so cute. It's nice and bright, okay? All right, so shapes four and five here on the outside. We're doing great. Christina, what movies are people loving? Um, Judy says The Green Mile. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Okay. Um, let's see. Carol says Pride and Prejudice. Jeff, or Jeff or Marge says The Notebook. Oh, The Notebook. That's always a good one. Carol says The Wizard of Oz. Oh, there you go. Yes. There you go. I've seen I love so the many Wizard classics. Of Oz. Uh, Dottie says Disney's The Jungle Book. Oh, yes. But The Old Jungle Book, not the Oh, the animated live. one? Yeah, the animated, not the... I don't think I've seen any of those new live movies. Yeah, they're not my favorite. Can I call Disney and tell them that? I think so. Okay. I think you've got a direct line. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'll call and say, hey, guys. Okay? So look what I'm doing. I'm laying out my block. And we lay it out so that we know that we're doing it right. This is why you download the pattern. Okay? i got to make my block bigger here. There we go. There we go. Okay, don't forget to share because we're giving away our six-inch cube, which is so fun. Okay. Oh, here's another good question from Janet. Okay. She says, can I cut myself by handling the die? Um, okay, that's a really great question, and the answer is yes. Here's what happens. If you were to grab it like this, it might. Yeah. If you stepped on this die, for sure. Okay? Because yeah. there's, still, there's still blades in there. Though it's flat, there's still the blades. Yeah, it's still flat, and there are still blades. Yeah. I would say just handle it like you would, like, a pair of scissors or something like that. Oh, that's you a great like, idea, yeah. We wouldn't like yeah. throw it around, but. Yeah, don't throw it no around. Running. <laughs> no running with dyes. <laughs> no running with dyes. In all the years at AccuQuilt, I have never cut myself with a die. Oh, there we so, go. So, good. But how many times have you cut yourself with a rotary cutter? Oh, last week, <laughs> Christina was here. She had a Band-Aid and everything. Okay, so look <laughs> at my little pinwheel block. Whew. Okay, so we're just, this is a great block so that we can chain piece, okay? So let's talk about the shapes. Here's shape four and shape five, they make the flying geese. And shape five just makes those pinwheel blocks and the corners are squares. Okay, so I'm gonna take off my shoes and we're gonna talk while I do this, because we can. Okay, here we go. Yesterday, um, I saw Oakley and I was wearing my tiara, <laughs> and she said, what is that? I said, this is my crown, and she said, I need one. I said, you do. So quilters, if you don't have a tiara, boy, that's what you need. Okay, so what I'm doing is, while I talk, I'm adding the right side to the flying geese, okay? And the reason it's going to work is because 
we have specialized dog ears, okay, on this. So I'm going to sew from here to here. We've cut out the dog ears, has nothing to do with puppies, okay, and then I'm just going to sew that perfect quarter inch seam. Quilters ask us all the time every week, don't they, Christina, is it a scant quarter inch seam or a true? Yes, it's a true quarter it's inch seam. It's a true seam. quarter inch seam. Okay, while I sew flying geese, tell me um, what movies people are watching. Sherry says Practical Magic is her favorite movie. I've never heard of that movie. No? I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Okay. Um, Randy says Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, that one's cute. Yes. Cheryl says Hope Floats. Okay. Crystal says Alien. See, truly, I'm just looking for movies to watch while I sew. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna go through these comments and make a list. I mean, right? Yeah. Oh, Hope Floats is good. Um, Aliens, that is scary. Yeah. I cannot watch scary things while I sew. No, I can't watch. I much. have a hard enough time, like, keeping track of my pieces. <laughs> oh, my uh, we've got a question from hey, Julie. Um, I need my pressing mat. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, Can while I... we look for that, um, Julie wants to know, do you unplug your cutter each night? No, I just turn it off, Julie. Yeah, yeah. make sure you do, because you in your quilting head, you're gonna think, oh, it'll just go off when I shut it. But the answer is no, it doesn't. It will not, it will still be on. Yeah, yep. Um, hey, while they work, look for my pressing mat, I'm just gonna sew my pinwheels together. There we go. So again, these are just half square triangles that we have sewn together. Ooh, Caroline says that her favorite movie is Little Women. Oh, Little Women is great. To which I wanna know which one. Cause yes. I think there's like three of them now, there correct? Are. There are, there's I so agree. Many. Yes, oh. and um, Little Women, I run uh, my very first book I ever purchased as a kid. Oh, really? Like, had my babysitting money. Fun. Yeah, made Little Women. I love that. Yeah, it was beautiful. So. Wendy says that she just cut 1,200 half square triangles and AccuQuilt Holy. made it so much easier. Holy smokes, Wendy. Thank That's you, Michael. so many. Um, 1,200. That is so many half square triangles. Holy smokes. <laughs> I wonder what he's gonna use them. Oh, is it Wendy, is it a girl? Wendy, yes. What is she gonna use them for? Wendy, tell know. us. Tell us what you're gonna do. Um, we do have a question from Deanna. Yes, Deanna. She says, if a blade is sticking out of your die, can you push it back down? Okay, if a blade is sticking out of your die, call our customer service line. Yes. And or they if, will help you. Or if it's just barely sticking out, I know like I've had that happen. I just take like a tiny rubber mallet and just yes. Pink it down a little yes. bit. Yes. No big. Yeah, don't don't push on it with your fingers. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so while we have talked about movies, look at how fast we have sewn these together. So here we go. <laughs> you had one job, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so now here's my half square triangles that are gonna make my pinwheel block. And then here are my flying geese. So I'm gonna talk about the flying geese first. Okay, everyone asks, this is a little clover iron. It's super cute, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna take your pieces and press to the outside to this white. Okay, right here. Here we go. And then I'm gonna show you about flying geese because a couple of weeks ago, I think it was like the last show in December, wasn't it, Christina? We talked about half square triangles because of my all time favorite shape. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, okay. We have a comment from Julie that says you should watch peanut, the Peanut Butter Falcon on Netflix. Is I it a series? Have I you don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm now I'm intrigued. The peanut Butter Falcon. I feel like we should have peanut butter cookies while we watch it. Ooh, yes. Listen, they are giving me such a hard time in the Dream Studio today because we have cookies here from last <laughs> week. Good. They're not good. They're <laughs> And I keep telling them they're young. They can eat. They can eat icky cookies. Okay, here we go. All right. So now I'm so I'm pressing my half square triangles, and I'm just going to press them to the um, just to one side. So I'm going to press them to the light side. Okay, while I'm pressing. So think about your stash. Think about your scraps. Think about your jelly rolls. Okay, what you can use. Don't forget today our promo is 25% off whatever's in your cart. Um, there's some exclusions that apply, but you're going to use the code SO25. Yes. That S means -E our six-inch cube is $165. Yep. Excellent. And it's S-E-W, not S-O. Yes, S-E-W. 
I do have quilting friends, though, that every time they use the word so, that is how they spell it. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> like, that quilt is so cute, and they spell it like that. Okay? All right, so I'm going to press this little guy out. So look at us making our little block today. All right. So now I'm going to do the other side of my uh, flying geese. So when I press this open, now I'm going to use the make the other side and sew it to there. And some of you are going to say to me, Pam Heller, you have done this wrong because there's a gap here. But actually, there is not a gap here. Um, once I sew that quarter inch seam, it will all work together. Okay. All right. So don't forget, sew 25. Look at us making stuff here, Christina. Are you excited? <laughs> to, have you cut your new project? I cut a single block just to make sure I knew like all the shapes I needed, how it would go together. Did so. you make a test block? No. Christina, we've <laughs> had this conversation. <laughs> you need um, to make a test block. We do have some questions about your seams. Okay, talk to us. Um, Becky said, you did not press to the dark. Does it matter? And Linda wants to know, how do you know which way to iron your seams? Um, so the answer to that is it doesn't matter if you press to the dark or the light. Um, and how you iron your seams on your flying geese, you want to press it away okay. from the center. Okay? And then the half square triangles, you can just press them whichever way you want to make them. Yeah. Okay? Those are great questions. You know, pressing is one of those things that I really have to think about. Because in some projects, I press my seams open. Whereas other times, I press to the dark side. Which um, Ray doesn't think is a true statement. He, he thinks I make that up every time I say it. I'm like, no, it's true. OK, here we go. OK. All right, now, my mason made some horror movie um, last year. And I should have known what the name of it was, so I could totally give him a plug. <laughs> like the Santa zombie or vampire or something, I don't know. That feels right. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I was traveling, it was right before I finished traveling, and he sent me this text, and he said, um, is it okay if I use fake blood in the bathroom? That's what every mom wants to read. <laughs> I said, sure, so long as you clean it up. And he did. Okay, so now I'm going to take... And see right here where I pr I'm going to press away to the outside to those little tiny half square triangles. Um, the thing about the six inch cube is really you need to make sure you're getting that good quarter inch seam. Because there's not much room to mess around here if you mess it up. Okay. Now last week, do you remember Christina, we were talking about um, jelly rolls and why they have those little um, edges? Yes, so they don't fray. So they don't fray. Somebody taught us that. I used to be crabby about that, and now I'm not anymore. Because <laughs> somebody was nice and told us that. Okay? All right. And I typically, quilters, when I'm putting blocks together, I do not um, backstitch. I feel like backstitching is for, like, rows, not necessarily for just putting I, a block together. I never backstitch. Should I be? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Yes, you okay. should. You should backstitch those rows so when they come together, they're perfect. Oh, all it's right. Okay. I'll start doing that. It's okay. Christine's <laughs> learning. She's learning all sorts of great stuff. I've made a handful of quilts and I've never done that. Oh, it's all right. Are they all going to fall apart? No, it won't. Okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. Okay, so now look. Here, I'm going to lay this out. Actually, I'm going to lay it out on my gray mat. It's on my green one so you can see it better. Okay, and again, I am following the pattern because, oh, man. If we don't, it's going to be crazy. OK? And again, this is such a fun project. You can totally make it whatever, whatever you want to make it. You know, you can totally make it your own. If you don't like these blocks, pick blocks you like to make. OK? All right. Here we go, right here and right here. OK, now, here's the pinwheel blocks, right? So you're going to have, I got I to gotta read while I talk. Okay, Christina, tell us, what are people watching? Well, Leslie sent a message who monitors our comments, and she goes, I never backstitch. What? So apparently she also didn't know. <laughs> okay, Leslie um, does events with me, and she, like Christina, has only been um, quilting for a short period of time. Okay? So um, 
Yes, Leslie, we'll talk about it tomorrow <laughs> when we do an event. Okay, so now I've laid out my cute little block. So now I'm just going to sew these pinwheels pieces together, and then um, we'll just talk about how to finish your little project here. So the reason I press to one side is now um, these, not, um, these seams will notch together. Oh, and see now already I've moved it. So, oh, where's Erica? She'd be so proud of me. Watch this. Doing so much pinning. We have a pin. Pins for days. Okay. You've got pins. You've got cute little clips on the side of that. I know. Those, are those your little bindings? Those are mine. Clips? Yep. Gosh. Well, I bought a pack of like 500. Oh, sure. Because it, it was more, it made more <laughs> sense than to buy a pack of like 50. Sure. For like, Almost sure. like a quarter of the, like, ugh, it just made more sense. But. Yes, I'm all about the making more sense thing. <laughs> but now I have so many binding clips. You should give them away and you should make pin cushions and get and add pins oh, and binding clips to them. That's a good idea. Give them away next year for Christmas. Okay. All right, so see, look at this. So I'm just going to put my little pieces together. Oh, we've got a great comment from Penny. She said she Hi, cut Penny. 300 five inch squares this morning in a half an hour. I'm an hour and a rock half. star. That's awesome. Yes. That is exactly how you should cut them. Just in no time at all. Okay. All right. So I'm going to sew our little pinwheel block together so you can see how cute this is. Look how cute this is. Okay. So when I sew the pinwheel block together, I'm going to press one to one side and one to the other. Okay. And I love this little shovel iron for projects like this and a little mat because then, because you don't need a real heavy press. Right. You just need it to work. And if you have like a giant iron, I feel like you get less precision too. Oh, yes. I was trying the other day. I couldn't find my shovel iron. I don't know where it has gone. And I was using my huge giant iron to like iron eight inch blocks and <laughs> it didn't work. Okay. So now I press one to one side, one to the other. So when I put them together like this, it's going to nest. Okay? So just think about this culture. Just think of how fast you could put this little project together. Okay? All right. And look, I've made a pinwheel and so many strings. Okay? So I'm not going to finish up the rest of my block, but I'm just going to talk about how to finish it. So we would make a center block. We would sew this row together and this row together and this row together. And then what I'm going to do, quilters, is I'm going to press this away and this towards the center and away again because you want your um, seams to nest. Yes. All right? Now, once that block is sewn together, here I've done the other sides. Look at how cute this is. All right? I'm going to move some of my stuff here. I feel like I have so much stuff by the end. Look, there's just half square triangles for days. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay out the strips. Okay, so follow the pattern. So here's the two outside blocks, okay? And then the star block would go in the center right here, okay? And then you're gonna add these strips. They're two by six and a half inches. Okay, two by six and a half inches. You would add the one in the center. All right. And then what you're going to do, you want to really read the instructions here, quilters. <laughs> okay. Because then what you're going to do is you're going to lay batting. Okay. Right here. And a back. And I just did a solid. Nobody's going to see it. Okay. All right. And then your whole row right here goes here, all right? And then you would pin it and then you would quilt it, all right? You want to quilt it before it goes on, this is the, the match or the, the pad part, okay? Because if you put it on here and then quilt it, you will not have pockets, okay? So you would add it here, quilt it however you wanted to, and then this was the coolest part. You're going to take just one of your jelly roll strips and this is what you're going to use for binding. So typically, um, Christina, do you not use two and a half inch strips for your binding? I do. Yeah. So you would take this two and a half inch strip, which is your jelly roll, start it on the back, bring it to the front, stitch it down. So you're going to add that binding stitch then. 
all right? Then, when this whole piece has been quilted and the top has been bound, then this part is the mat. Now, you want to um, put the um, batting and the backing on your mat mm -hmm. and quilt it first, okay? And, you know, Christina, I'm going to tell you, um, I would just not even worry about it too much. Yeah. Like maybe I would go right here. Do a couple. You know, just do a little stitch in the ditch. Yeah. Because truly your sewing machine is probably going to sit on top of it, right? Right. So you're not going to see much of it. It doesn't necessarily, no. like it's not going to be abused and need to be held together. No, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Now, some of you are going to say, Pam Heller, in your day today, <laughs> you have cut this wrong, but actually you haven't. So as it sits on the corner, then this little pocket area is um, so you can put things in it. Yes. So let me show you the cutest one that um, somebody made that wasn't me. <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all, this is the back. Oh, I love that. Is that not <laughs> stunning? <laughs> Holy smokes. So this one actually kind of matches, right? Um, you know, it's kind of the same fabric line and stuff. I did love the fact that I just used jelly rolls. Mm -hmm. Okay. So look, here's the little pockets. All right. Mm -hmm. So once you've quilted your pocket, then you're going to stitch it down right here so you have pockets. Then you're going to bind the whole thing. And that's how you're going to get the pocket okay. at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Now, again, I would tell you, look at these fun little jelly rolls parts that I had that I'm going to use to bind it with. Okay. So you can make it totally scrappy. This person, um, quilter just used the same. Okay. But what a fun, great little project. Yes, and to keep you organized this time of year too. Oh yeah, absolutely. I feel absolutely. like so many people are like cleaning out their sewing room, getting organized. So this yes. is the perfect to kind of keep all your tools together. Yes, yes. Yeah. So this is really a fun way, again, to use up your scraps. Don't forget today only till 12 midnight central time. Take 25% off your entire order when you use the code SEW25, S-E-W-2-5. The six inch cube that we're using today is only 165, which means the eight inch cube and the nine inch cube are also 165. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Now, it is time to pick a winner. Yes. Do we have a drum roll, please? Maybe. We are. We're waiting. <laughs> All right. Our winner is Kathy Lukens. Kathy Lukens, congratulations. <laughs> Christina is going to reach out to you. We're going to send you a six-inch cube. Happy New Year. That's exciting. All right, quilters, don't forget, if you need to come back and watch this Facebook Live, it lives on our Facebook page. You can watch it over and over again. Always. Um, don't forget to download the pattern, read all the instructions so you cut the right amount of half-square triangles. Okay, be sure to join us next week for AccuQuilt Live. Okay, we've kind of been working on projects, yes, right, Christina? Yes, it's definitely been a project month. Project month, because I feel like some of you are trying to get organized, trying to get some stuff done. We are going to make this super cute casserole cozy. Okay, and we're going to use the six-inch cube for the top. All right, so it's really cute. Um, it's what we're going to do next week. All right. All right, so here on behalf of all of us here on AccuQuilt Live, we have Nick upstairs. We have Leslie, Marissa, and Katie off-site. Here in the Dream Studio, we have Mikey and Chelsea and Chelsea C. And we have Justin. For just a couple more weeks, Justin thinks he should leave us. I know. I don't know why. <laughs> Boo. And my good friend, Christina. On behalf of all of us, I'm Pam Heller reminding you that at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next Wednesday at noon.